So today is our 70th birthday research conference and today is about celebrating the past achievements of the charity um, in terms of research and the, the difference we've made across the world really with that. Um, but also by highlighting all the things that we do today. So we fund PhD studentships, uh, we fund a thing called the Innovation Grants which are about developing new services and interventions for people affected by cancer. Uh, but also we're very active in using research to develop new services uh, with really the voice of cancer patients at the heart. Hello, I'm Vivian Parry, I'm a writer and broadcaster and I'm hosting today's event. I'm passionate about communicating science to everybody and I think people sometimes have a misunderstanding of what research is and what it does. But events like these bring together researchers and ordinary people and it helps both the researchers and the people that they're talking to because researchers need to be able to communicate clearly and well and it's a great opportunity for everybody so I think days like this are fantastic. Um, I'm a Tenebus funded PhD student, I've just finished and um, today I was talking about my project which was um, identifying reasons why some people uh, suffer from severe side effects following treatment with a drug called oxaliplatin as part of uh, bowel cancer treatment. Uh, so I'm Dr Luke Bigot, um, I was a Tenebus funded PhD student and today I was talking about uh, C-Flip as a treatment for breast cancer. Hi, I'm Rachel Houghton, um, I'm part of the HPV research group at Cardiff University and I'm a third year ten of us funded PhD student. I'm doing this so we can better understand what happens inside your cells before cancer progression. Well, I dug up uh, for uh, today's talk um, a paper from the New England Journal of Medicine from 1943. I couldn't believe it because I'd been asked to talk about um, the next 70 years, but obviously I had to start by looking back. And there was uh, a paper with five-year survival rates uh, for eight or nine common cancers, and they were awful. They were seriously dreadful. This 8% for breast cancer, 8% for prostate cancer, testicular cancer, single figures. And uh, so I dug out the equivalent five-year survival rates for 2013, uh, for Tenefus' 70th birthday. And they were spectacularly better. The 60, 70% for prostate and 80% for breast cancer. And, uh, and then I just discussed a little bit about why and the technology, uh, the new ways of imaging cancers and finding them, uh, the success of the screening programs. A lot of people knock uh, breast cancer screening, cervix screening, first done in Wales, both of them. Uh, but in fact, they've been very successful indeed. One of the great things about the conference today is that we've had the opportunity to bring together um, people from all walks of life and all types of experience of cancer, from clinicians who work on the front line every day through to patients and carers and families who have to live with the burden of the disease. Uh, what we're trying to show today is that how research really interlinks all of these things. So taking the real life problems faced by patients and families, using research then to find solutions to those problems that can then be put in practice either by clinicians or hospitals or health professionals or actually even by ourselves and many of the services we run now actually started life as research projects and are continually evaluated with more research to make sure that they are always exactly what patients need. <laughs> 